All right, just an update. Um, this is your old spring weight. Let's get it right. There's your old spring on the bottom. A new one is on the top. As you can see, I get it right. It's uh, Oh, so all, all stuff's going to fall off here. Quite a bit of difference in your length, mate. All right. So that's another a good about an inch, inch quarter. So quite a bit longer, mate. Let's put that washer back. I'm going to put that on the other one to protect that anyway. Right, I've done your piston, I've cleaned your piston up. It's not polished up because there's no need to have it polished. Because um, this end here and this end here is the only thing really that slides up and down the cylinder. All this is lower than, sorry, let's get it in picture. All this here is lower than that point there and that point there so basically you could say it's dished so the actual the actual piston is sliding on this point and this point I've clean I've cleaned this up you have these I'm going to put on I haven't got them out yet let me just do that Um, had a bit of a job this this here this one on on this piston was absolutely goes on there was actually disintegrated there's just nothing there there's all bits and pieces all over the place that's what all this crud was that was on the bench here and um so it was crunching every time you cocked it, which is because all this is broken down. It's like a carbon fibre. It's like that, um, or, or like a baker, like it, it, on those lines. But of course, once it's bashed, it's um, it just breaks up and breaks up. Then we're going to have the washer go on to the piston head. So that's that all cleaned up and oiled. So I shall put some grease on that later. I keep these back in this bag so that I don't mix them up with the old piston o-ring. There's the old one, nothing wrong with it but um, as I say, as we're completely doing a strip down and, and repair we might as well, well, there's a little tiny nick on that one, but push come to shove you've got one. So I'll put it in there, when, put it in here when I'm finished as a spare should push come to shove and the piston head well that was in out of a state that was I had to get this uh, in here there's a little uh, where are we let's get a pointer in here this little hole here goes straight the way through this won't go through but goes straight the way through comes out the other side you've got a pin in there um, and um, a drift pin that holds this head onto here about there and that's where this this other one goes in there that that uh, bake light one o-ring goes on here this was in this was in a hell of a state this thing I actually put it on the um, buffing wheel um, polished all the crud off of it and everything else and then what I've done is I use my good old Sovo Autosol and give it a good polish up but that'll be getting some um, silicon oil and etc on it when it gets put back into the cylinder right I think uh, we're caught up a bit now we're, I'm down to a basic barrel I've literally stripped the whole job stripped the whole thing down again the old lot's been 
completely taken down. I took a lot off. So I'm not going to. Otherwise, I've taken the fore end sight off. Otherwise, it's only going to get damaged while I'm working on it. So I thought the best thing to do is take it right off. Then nothing's going to get damaged. So there it is. That's the point we're up to at the moment. Uh, as I say, this is all done, been polished up. This has come up okay. Um, I should just put a little bit of grease on here, like before I close it into the into the new stock. And um, I'll uh, I'll keep you up to date. Catch you later.